Kidnappers, they must have been trailing us. The two of them jumped out of the car and grabbed Kelvin. I tried to save him. I, I really tried to save him, but the, the car was still like clean run after him. It's okay, my darling. We know, we know you tried to save your brother. I know you're very brave. Everything will be fine. This is a clear case of kidnapping, Mr. Thompson. <laughs> but how? I, I mean, who? Why my son? Why Kelvin? Could be for ransom. And if that's the case, we would have to wait to hear from the kidnappers with their ransom demand. We wait? No, officer. We can't simply be waiting around. Why my son's life continues to be at risk with every second that takes? You have to do something about this. I understand your disposition right now, Mr. Thompson. But you see, you have to calm down. 
I promise you, the Nigerian police force will do all in its power to rescue your son and bring him back home safely. <laughs> if I may ask, Mr. Thompson, is there anyone you had dealings with or people you would have reason could want to hurt you and your family? No. Not that I can recall. All right, if you say so, Mr. Thompson, but um, I see employ you to think long and hard about it. Officer, I'm very certain about this one. I know no one that wants to harm my family. All right, if you say so, Mr. Thompson. We shall take our leave now. The formal report of the missing person shall be made after 48 hours. You have my number. So please contact me immediately here from the gate. Thank you, officer. I'll, I'll just see you to the door. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you, officers, for your prompt response to my call. Yeah, please, and um, I beg you, please help me. I'm petrified to imagine what this heartless man could do to my son. He's only 17, for God's sake. We understand how you feel, Mr. Thompson. I assure you, we shall do our best. Yes, yes. Um, Andy, your son, was quite uh, distraught, so we couldn't ask him any further questions. But nonetheless, we'll be leading the names and contact of his football club members. I mean, the ones he trains with. Oh, oh sure. No, no, no problem. I'll, I'll ask Andy to get a list ready for you. Look, you do that. Um, um, please. Please tell me, officer. Yes, Mr. Thompson. How long? I, I mean, these kinds of cases. How long does it take actually before... Before you reunite with your son? Uh, yes. <laughs> well, you see, cases like this are cracked within weeks. And sometimes several months would pass by without making any reasonable headway. And in some unfortunate cases, the victim is found dead even before police intervention. I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson. I must warn you. You need to be prepared for the worst. All right. See you later. OK. Thank you so much. Have a good day. I'll tell you what, I'm going to take the gag off your mouth, but before I do, you have to understand that I have zero tolerance for kids like you. Do you understand that? Because if you anger me in any single way, I will say... I will. That's good. Clap for yourself. You see, you know what I mean? You don't have bad after all. You know, we can. We can actually be friends, you know, after your dad has been awesome. So, yeah. Somebody please help me! Somebody get me a big enough! Somebody help me! <laughs> Come on, go ahead! You've lost your voice? Come on, scream! Oh, you need my help? Help! Somebody help! We've been kidnapped! Help! Help! You see, I can, that's how you do it. That's how you yell. I mean, you can yell. Because I no one, no one is going to save you from us. Hey, so go ahead and yell. Hey, you forget, we have no never see it. Here, everyone minds their business. It's a bloody ghost town. You know that, kiddo? So you... better be your best behavior. Uh -huh. Do you understand? Yes. What do you want? I swear if my daddy should catch you, you'll you, you throw you in jail like the criminals you are. You what? You, 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 you want no, me to... No, 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 no. Better shut your mouth before I shut it for you permanently. Yeah. Can you imagine kids of nowadays? No, in training. <laughs> what? I mean, just watch over here. Be on your best. Sit, sit down. Just sit. I don't want to hear any noise. Is that okay? Yeah. 
I like that. Play mute. Baby. I can't believe this is happening to us. Why Kelvin? Sometimes I wonder if I've been a good mother to him. If only I have the opportunity to show him just how much I love him. It's okay, baby. We'll find him. I promise you we'll find Kelvin. How Kevin will be returned to us, no harm will come to him. I promise you. Okay. <sighs> <It'll be> okay. <laughs> Kidnappers just make the call already. Can they just call and say what they want? It's money they want, isn't it? They should just say how much or they can bring back my Kelvin to me. No, no can you just calm down? I can't! Don't ask me to calm down! Do you know what it means? My son! My son! <laughs> Yes? Thompson are born on the line. Mr. Thompson. Yeah, who am I speaking with? I'm sure you've been expecting this call, huh? You can call me Connor. Yeah. I'm calling to inform you that your son is in my custody. You, you, you have my son? Kelvin is with you? Please put him on the line. I need to talk to my son this instant. Let's know if he's all right. Calm down, Mr. Thompson. You are in no position to make propositions. I call the shots here. Is that clear? Good. Now, listen to me carefully. You will do well to play by my rules because it is up to you to receive that boy whole and alive or in a body bag. No, 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 please. Oh, I, I will be here, sir. Don't, don't, don't hurt him, please. Please don't, we will pay any amount, anything you want. Please don't hurt him, he's all I've got. So now that we understand each other, let's go down to the rules. Rule number one. Y yes. Do not involve the police. Under no circumstance should you involve the police into this transaction. And <laughs> Mr. Thompson, don't think you're too smart because I have eyes everywhere even in the police force. Well, since you understand each other, that will be all for now. Uh, yeah, your son Kelvin sends his regards. Yes, uh, uh, can we at least hear his voice? What? What happened? Uh, he caught the phone on me. The bloody bastard caught the call. <laughs> and the court was basically forced to know that Kelvin was still in their custody. I see. And were you able to speak with Kelvin, at least to be sure that he's indeed with them? No, unfortunately. The bastard caught the call on me. Mm -hmm. uh, officer, the kidnappers instructed that we must not get the police involved. Don't they all do? It's typical, I must say. We have decided to... Follow the instructions. What? Are you kidding me, Mr. Thompson? 
I, I wish. I, and I wish this whole thing was just a joke. But it's my son's life and, and safety that is at stake here. And you want to play right into the hands of the kidnappers? Yes. What did they do? Threaten to kill him if he don't comply? And I'm as sure as they were not willing to take such a chance. Come on, listen to me, Mr. Thompson. Oh, no, you listen to me. I have resolved to pay that ransom. No matter the price that those kidnappers name now, I will pay it. The money doesn't mean anything to me. What's important to me right now is my son coming home alive and well. And I demand that you do not interfere. I am sorry to disappoint you, Mr. Thompson. <laughs> Here is a criminal case. And interfere, we must. Wakey, wakey, oh boy, sit down. Oh, I see you forfeited the comfort of the bed for an uncomfortable night's sleep on your board. Last, last night, your body go pay you. Well, but I'm not interested in your stupid bed, I want to go home. This is your toothbrush. You brush your teeth. Take your breakfast. I said I don't want any breakfast. I want to go home, you criminal. Hey, you call me criminal again and see if I will not give you a practical example of how expensive your words are. You brat. If you know what is good for you, you brush your teeth and take your breakfast. If I go not you for nose. going to work? Yes, darling. Seriously? I don't understand. You're actually going to work? Yes. Am I the only one who feels the pain of the loss of our son or what? See, it's been 48 hours, Nora, and counting. I want to do some other thing other than sit around here and wait for kidnappers to call. It's either this or I'll go crazy. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's, it's okay. I didn't mean to sound like that at your phone. Oh. Yes. Yes, something here. I believe you've done the necessary arrangements to release your son. I give you 24 hours more for you to get the police off our tail. The, the police have been discharged. So, all right, I demand to speak to my son. I want to talk to Kelvin. Now. Listen, Mr. Thompson. You're in no position to make demands. But, but, but because you've been a good boy, huh? I see no reasons why you shouldn't talk to your son. Hold on. He demands. <laughs> uh. Hey, where are you? Come along. Your father is on the phone. Hey, Dad. Wait, give me this. Oh. <coughs> hey. Give me this. I want to speak to my dad. Is it all good? Easy. You have two seconds to tell your dad how much you miss him so much. Hey, I said easy. Go. Hello, Daddy. That is that you? Kelvin! Son, how are you? I hope you're not hurt. No, no, Daddy. Dad, please just just come and get me out of here. I, I really hate it here. Please just hurry up and hey, is enough, hey. enough cry, baby. Uh, I'll speak to you. Leave me alone. Hello? Hello? Speak to my dad. Hello again, Mr. Thompson. Get my son back onto the phone. I need to talk to my son now. No. Get him back onto the phone, please. 
Well, because I'm a generous guy, I won't just let you speak to your son. I will also release him and set him free. It's only going to cost you a token of 25 million naira. What? Cut the bullshit, Mr. Thompson. You and I know that you're a very wealthy man. The question now is, how much is your son's life worth? Hello? Hello? Did he hung up? Yes. What are we going to do? Babe, 25 million. They want 25 million in exchange for Kelvin. 25 million. It's ridiculous. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? We need to come up with a plan. There's got to be another way. Thompson, we have a 25 million naira ransom on the head of our son. And all you do is sit down here and drown yourself in alcohol. Give me that. Give it to me. What would you have me do, Nara? Think of a plan. We need to look for a way to get the kidnappers to reduce the ransom or go to the police. No. No. We're not involving the police any further. We're not. You had the kidnappers, Nora. You had them. I would never forgive myself. Never. If any harm were to come to Kelvin. So I've decided. I shall take you 25 million naira to the kidnappers once they call us or contact us on the where and how. No, Dad. You can't just give the kidnappers what they want. The law needs to handle this. Come, sir. I know, son. But it's not like we have a choice right now. The risk is Kelvin's life. So my hands are tied. But that's not fair, Dad. The criminals need to be brought to book. You can't just get away with 25 million naira. Well, there you have it, son. Life itself is unfair. So you better respect yourself and calm down. Tell me to calm down. My dad must be worried sick. And how can you guys be so heartless? Listen to me. Listen and listen very good. We are counting on your dad being worried sick. That's way you will pay up the ransom with the man there. Ransom? So you mean you're keeping me here to get ransom from my dad? Don't want you here as much as you don't want to stay. So you pray your dearest daddy quickly pay off your ransom so, so he can go home. It's still unbelievable. So in New York, kidnapping me to take so money from my dad. Don't you have any conscience? Well, the last time I checked, that word conscience has been overrated. So now you listen and listen. I wouldn't guarantee you that's being so nice to you if you continue to provoke them. So you get your body on that bed and stay mute. Sit. I said, sit! In! Very risky. How was that noise, huh? Will you get that brat to shut up, I swear? Risky, I'll do it myself. I don't think that will be necessary, boss. I, I, I'm sure I can persuade him to calm down. Let me just get a glass of water. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing with a little brat? Who we'll opened the door for you to come out? I don't know. I came to get myself a drink of water. I'm thirsty. 
Listen, I know it's a limp question and all, but haven't you heard smokers are liable to die young? <laughs> Although it seems to me that um, you have a death wish. <laughs> if you don't leave here this minute, I will show you what the death wish looks like. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you. I mean, why should I even care if you roast your heart and your lungs? Besides, mm. one must always pay for their sins someday and somehow. And you, kidnapping me inclusively. So why should I even care you die? Brat. Let's see whose heart and lungs is good. Stop it, Kevin! Hey, are you okay? What is wrong with you? Yusef, what is wrong with you? What in God's name is wrong with you? Who were you thinking provoking canon like that? Can I say Yusef get that wish you? Yes, and so you shouldn't have even come to my rescue just now. You have just let him beat me up or cross that thing inside my mouth. Will you shut up, you ungrateful boy? Do you realize what that substance will have done to you? But now, if I don't they Chris, you should be thanking your God that, that, that I saved you. But that's the point. Stop trying to be, behave like you're a good guy when you're not. You're just like them. The kidnapper. And the lover that never deserves his words. You are really begging for a beating. You should thank your God that I'm in a good mood today. Yes, um, deep you. Um, my cousin called me yesterday to inform me that um, my son appeared in front of his house in Portacot yesterday evening. Mr. Thompson, let me let me see if I really do get you. You are telling me now that your son, one before now, we assumed was kidnapped. He's no longer kidnapped, but finally materialized in your cousin's place in Port Harcourt yesterday. Uh, yes, that's exactly what I'm saying, Mr. DPU. The phone call from the kidnappers, how do you explain that, Mr. Thompson? The call? What call? Oh, the supposed call from the kidnappers? Mr. Thompson, I hope you don't think that I'm a fool. You and I know that there's a whole lot to the story. Now, are you, are, you, are you ready to tell me the whole truth? Well, Mr. Dipio, you know how teenagers of nowadays can be so reckless and, and revolt at any slightest disagreement. So what I'm trying to say is, um, all this, the kidnapping, it's, it's a stunt being, being played by my son and his friends to extort money from me. Yes. What? But obviously, he changed his mind at the last minute. Children of Nadis. But what is, what, what is wrong with this generation? Well, Mr. Thompson, I hope you know that this is a criminal act. Your son and his friends are bad influence to one another. And they need to be taught a thorough lesson so as not to pull this kind of prank next time. Uh, yes, DPO, I, I do realize that. But more than that, it, it has dawned on me that my son is actually in need of a professional help. Oh. So this is why I want this case closed. Oh. You're making a huge mistake. I beg your pardon? You see, this is not the first kidnap case I've worked on. And I know a cock and bull story when I hear one. See that statement you gave in there? It was a perfect example of one. I'm sorry, I don't understand what you're talking I about. I bet you do, Mr. Thompson. Let me guess. The kidnappers have declared a ransom and it's right up your alley. And you're thinking, Ditch the stupid police. Pay the ransom. Have your son, you know, home safe and sound. Is that right? And so what if that is the case? 
I don't see anything wrong with that. I mean, it's a fair exchange if you ask me. Especially considering how clumsy Nigeria police is. Well, I'd like you to know that the problem with your fair exchange theory is that when dealing with criminals, nothing is ever fair. The criminals always have another ace of their sleeves. Mm, well, yes. I see what you mean, Officer Steve. <laughs> but fortunately for me, though, I have no reason whatsoever to test that theory. Like I told the DPO just now, my son is safely with my cousin in Portacot. So if you will stop wasting my time, I'd like to be on my way to him. Listen, I know exactly what you're going no, to do. No, no, I'm not sure you do. You can't possibly have any idea. Have a good day. Do you think they bought the story? Hook, line, and sinker. I didn't suspect a thing. I was really petrified that the police will see through your story and see it for what it is. Lies. Well, they didn't. Just that shows how good an actor I am. And, and what was that look supposed to mean? Nothing. I didn't say anything. I'm so relieved. At least we've sorted the police. So what's next? Well, what's next is that we wait. I, I have the ransom money ready. Honey, do you think we're doing the right thing? Let's guess. It's not that you enjoy my company so much, but you are the one who has been saddled with the burden of babysitting me, am I right? You guessed right. Obviously, uh, none of these guys can stand your acidic tongue. So it's either I babysit you or I leave them to kill you. Uh, I see. Well, let me just tell you, I play a really mean game of cards. Huh? We shall see. <laughs> Risky, can I ask you something? With you, Anna. Why are you with them? I, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying, you're, you're not like them. You're kind, you're... You're not as ruthless as they are, and you don't even smoke, you don't do drugs. So, I was wondering. I don't blame you. You don't know what it means to be poor and wretched in this country. To go to school and end up without a job just because you don't have connections. To stand by and watch your loved ones die just because you don't have money to get them good medical care. People like us are pushed to take by force what has been deprived from us by a corrupt system and corrupt politicians. I... I see. But... in the end, it's not worth it. Hurting innocent people just because you want to take what has been deprived from you, as you put it. Haven't you heard? The end justifies the means. Oh, come on, don't tell me you believe that. Funny, everyone blames the bad system and the corrupt politicians for every wrong happening in the country. But I don't see how becoming a, a criminal becomes recompensed for their wrongs. Like my dad said, two wrongs can never make a right. Last card. 
What does your dad know? A whole lot. And sincerely, I don't think it matters what kind of spoon one is born with, whether gold, silver, or aluminium. None of that matters at all. One just has to understand and put his spoon into good use. Like my dad says again, be the change you want to see in others. Check up. <laughs> Mr. Thompson. Yeah, I want you to transport the money in a single bag to a location in which I will communicate in due time. And I want your wife to be the one to convey the money. My wife? Why my wife? No, why my wife? I should be the one bringing the ransom. See, I cannot put another member of my family at risk, I'm afraid. Mr. Thompson. Well, that's unfortunate because I don't trust you. You see, your wife drops the money. And once I get hold of the money, I will communicate to you another location where you find your son waiting and ready to go home. Hello? Yes, yes, I'm here now. I'm alone, I'm alone. And did you bring the money? I have it, 25 million. Good. Now get back into your car and keep driving. Keep driving until I communicate to you your next destination. I thought you said I should come. Why are you asking me to? Okay, 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 okay. Okay. All right, I'm going now. Hello, Officer Steve. Good afternoon, sir. Yes, this is Nora, Thompson Agbola's wife. Yes, please, I'm going to drop the ransom money for the kidnappers. Yes, yes. Okay, okay, all right, thank you, okay, all right. Yes, I'm at the mechanic workshop now. I'll look for it. There are a couple of them there. Okay. So, excuse me, sir. So, after I drop the money, what's next? How do I know that you would let the boy go once I drop the money? Hey, come on, Mrs. Agbola. Don't you trust that I am a man of my words? Drop the money and leave. I have my eyes on you. I will communicate with you where to pick up your son. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do that now.
Hello? Hello? Yes, yes, I have done as you've asked me to. Yes. So where do I pick up my son? Where do I pick up Kelvin? Why haven't I heard from any of them? Neither Norin or the damn kidnappers have called me. Is something go wrong? Oh God. God, please. Let it be that nothing has gone wrong, please. Please. Tom. No. Where are you coming from? I... Oh. Nora, say something. I'm so what sorry. happened? Where's Kelvin? I'm really sorry. Sorry about what? I'm sorry. Sorry about what? It's all my fault. I'm so sorry. <laughs> they tricked me. They tricked me, the kidnappers. They knew we weren't going to keep our part of the bargain, so they tricked me. They knew we weren't going to keep our part of the bargain? I'm sorry. Uh, how do you mean? Uh, that's, not, that's not possible, Laura. That's not. I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait a minute. You didn't do as planned? You didn't, Laura? Answer me. Mrs. Agbola. Mrs. Agbola. You see, a little birdie just whispered to me that you didn't keep to your own end of the bargain. You even went to involve the police after I warned you not to. <sighs> Mrs. Abola, you just made Cannon angry. And do you know what Cannon does when he gets angry? It explodes, destroying everything that gets in his way, including your precious son. Boom. No, no, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, please. Just tell me where to pick up my son. Please don't drop the phone. Please. Hello? Hello? Oh, God. Oh. What is all this? Oh, God. You did what? How so could you? <laughs> I just wanted to do the right thing. I just wanted to bring coming back. Tom! I did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, son. I'm sorry I disappointed you. I didn't mean to. But I promise you I'll find a way. I'll find a way to get you out no matter what it takes. I'll find a way. I promise you, son, I'll find you. My life, I never see money like this in one place. I never see a matter. 
Chai! The liquid. Chai! I told you that it's much money to be made in this line of business, huh? So let me tell you, my guy. This one, it's more than compared to what we get when we catch all these big fish. Tell him. Tell him. I swear down. <laughs> you don't mean it. Mm. Hey, come on. We'll share the money now. See, it's a bit serious for me. Problem one, need to settle sharp sharp. See, this boy, calm down. Bro. See, maybe only you get family problem or even personal problem. Ataya. Huh? By the way, we are not sharing the money till the person that brought the deal arrives. Now, um, uh, say time, long the rich made the boy the go as, as in Papa don't pay ransom. Well, as for that, we will leave the person that brought the job to decide. To be honest, I can't wait to get rid of that boy. His self confidence is too much for my liking. <laughs> That's correct. I mean, all these spoiled rich kids. <laughs> I mean, speaking of rich people, my friend, don't you have a baby to babysit? Nah, no risky. Uh, what you gonna? Nah, no risky now. <laughs> nah, nah, you <laughs> do that. We tell you, come on, <laughs> my guy, go and do your job. Uh, talking about rich kids, oh boy, I pay go feed them. Me and Bano talk say we starving people. <laughs> oh boy. Go feed the boy. <laughs> Not <a> risky. <laughs> Not <a> risky. <laughs> Not <a> risky. Go share them. Don't worry. Don't worry. I got you. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Time for lunch. How many times do I have to tell you? I don't want anything from you. I want to go home. I don't want anything from you. I want to go home. That's all you've been saying since you came here. So tell you, don't they sound like a broken record? Um, anyway, um, your dad has uh, paid the ransom so you can start getting set to go home. Did you just mean what you said? So I can really go home now? Yes, but, but not immediately. But I am definitely going home. Well, yes. Uh, there is no need keeping you here since we've received the ransom. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very... Oh, my dad must be worried sick. And I'm finally going home. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I am sorry, Mr. Thompson, that the plan to use the elements of surprise against the kidnappers by your wife and I got sabotaged. <sighs> now I know you must be going through a lot, right? Stop, stop saying that, Officer Steve. You don't understand the iota of how I feel. You don't. You don't know the sick feeling I have in the pit of my stomach. Realizing now that the kidnappers of my son don't even have any reason to keep him alive anymore. Especially now that they have the money that I paid them in their position. I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson. Tell me, Officer Steve, what were you thinking? The plan was for the police to be left out of this. What part of that bloody plan didn't you understand? That money meant nothing to me. You and Nora should have just let it go. Now, not only have I lost my money, I've lost my son too. God forbid you cannot lose your son. We are not going to lose. Not when I have something to do with it. What can you do? What I need now is a miracle. Only a miracle can save Kevin. Then, a miracle it shall be. Believe me, Mr. Thompson, every kidnapping case follows a usual pattern. And usually it's the people who are inside who give information to the kidnappers outside about the potential victim. Go on, I'm listening. Okay. Now we thank God that we had the presence of mind to mark the Naira notes that you brought from the bank for the ransom. Once the booty is shared, someone will surely slip up. Yes. Officer, no, no, no. Don't tell, me, don't tell me you're waiting for until that time before you crack this case. Do you realize that my son's life is hanging in the balance? Of course not. And I've actually been, you know, talking to Kelvin's football team members. And if it's okay by you, I would like to further interrogate your son, Andy. Andy? Andy? 
Actually, I met Mr. Thompson the very day he brought Kelvin to register in my football club. I see. So you're saying that you have never heard about Mr. Thompson proud to this? No. Uh, I mean, yes. Tell me, Mr. Humphrey. You evaluated Kevin, didn't you? Yes, officer. I, I did evaluate the young man. It's a common requirement for not just him, but every member of the club. No doubt about that. Tell me, Mr. Humphrey, from your evaluation of Kevin, not just on paper now, but as someone you have had reason to train with, communicate with, and have general conversation with, how would you classify Kevin's character? I mean, would you say Kevin is a troublemaker? Of course no. <clears throat> Everyone loves Kevin. Are you saying or thinking that Kevin is not capable of provoking anyone or any person to the extent that that person wants to harm him? Well, officer, you and I know that we are living in a perverted world where people with no reason can hurt others. And the much I know about Kevin, that young man would never have reason or intentionally provoke anyone. Kelvin is a good and a respectful boy. Okay, I see. Can you tell me, Kachi, what you saw? And how can you describe the event of October 29th, the fateful day Kelvin was kidnapped? Well, sir, nothing out of ordinary happened that day. I mean, we warmed up and trained as usual before Kevin had to live with his brother before anyone else. That's why I can remember, sir. You just said Kevin had to live before anyone else. Hmm. Any special reason? Well, not that I can recall, sir. Who? Oh, except and did that Kevin's brother? Yes. I know who Andy is. What about him? I remember that Andy received the call. It was after answering the call. He now spoke to his brother, Kevin, and they have to excuse us and left the training. I see. Okay. Aside um, Andy receiving a call, is there anything else? As in anything you can remember? Anything at all that could be beneficial to solving this problem? I'm sorry, sir. Not that I can remember, sir. I'm sorry, officer. I have told you before, officer. What a lot of the ordinary happened prior to our returning home from football training. So what you're saying is that you and Kelvin came straight home? You didn't by any chance stop by somewhere to have refreshments? No, I already told you that. <laughs> okay, Andy, well, um, I spoke with some of your friends from your football club, and they told me that you and Kelvin had left rather early that day. And that was after you received a phone call. A phone call? Yes. I don't remember receiving any phone call. I don't, I don't understand. What if we left early from football training that day? Does that have to do with anything? Nothing, my boy. Nothing. Let's just say that I'm trying to juggle your brain, you know, a bit to see if I can get details of the accounts of what transpired uh, prior to your brother's kidnapping. Well, I'm sorry, sir, but my memory doesn't need jogging. 
I remember everything that happened on that day vividly. All right. If you say so, it's okay then. I shall have to take my leave. Okay. But do not hesitate to contact me where you remember something. Okay? All right. That's my boy. See you. Hello, mom. Yeah, we still have football practice. Yeah. All right, mom. Yeah, yeah, I know. I promise to call you when we arrive at the estate. Yeah, we are trekking down to the house now. Yeah, but listen, the surprise better be worth our while, though. See you in seconds, mom. Baby, I'm home. Welcome. You look upset. Did anyone upset you? Did Daddy lay a hand on you? No, Mom. You know Dad will never do such. So what's the problem? You look upset. I see my brother being kidnapped is not enough to upset me. Oh, oh you. It's okay. Soon enough, I'm sure he will return home to us, okay? We all feel sad about it. Hmm? Okay, I hope so. I'll go upstairs and freshen up. I feel very sweaty. Um, Officer Steve came today. Officer Steve? Yeah. What did he want? Uh, he said something about things not adding up. About your statement? I don't really know. But, Mom, do you have a hand in Kelvin's kidnap? What? Andy! Mom, I'm just forgetting, I'm sorry. How could you say anything like that? Oh, I'm sorry. Why would you even think that? Mom, I'm sorry. Oh, you just broke my heart. Mom! Mom! Did you just ask me that? Oh, I'm sorry. Mom! Mom! Boy. Oh. 
I'm going out to get grocery supplies. Do you need anything particularly? Do you mind? And drop the Good Samaritan Kidnapper Act. You know, the two rules don't fit at all. Yeah, I can see that you're in a very bad mood. Uh, don't be confused, though. You're just like a piggy bank. I'm following orders to get you amused and well taken care of. Well, I don't care about your orders. You said that I'll be released once the ransom has been paid, so what's the delay? A little patience. See, we are still waiting to hear from the top guy. If all goes well, probably by weekend you join your family. <laughs> well, what a relief. Do you know he can join me, right? Hide Chris, are you out of your mind? Come with you how? Well, Mr. Risky, I know you're not a bad guy, and I know it's also circumstances that drove you into joining these bad people. So what? So I can talk to my dad, put in a good word for you, so to speak, and I'm sure he'll be persuaded to help you. Oh, well, <laughs> thank you. But no thanks. I don't need a savior. Okay. To put me into trouble. Please forgive me, Mom. I mean, I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. Deep down, I know you never have a hand in Kelvin's disappearance. So why? Why did you even think of a thing like that? It's just that when Officer Steve came the other day, she was asking too many questions about the phone call, and I remember you telling me not to mention anything to the phone call. That's because I know how the police works. I just didn't want them to start having suspicions about an innocent call from a mother to her son. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry too. Listen, I know, I know that it feels so bad that Kevin didn't even get to get the surprise we were planning for him on that day. A surprise? Mm -hmm. You see, your dad had concluded arrangements for him to go to Canada and further his university education. So on that day, we were so excited, we were going to present him the admission letter and his flight ticket. But then this happened. I'm sorry, Mo. I'm sorry I adopted you. Please forgive me. I'm sorry too. It's okay. I love you very much. Hmm? Come, come here. Everything that I do, I do for you. Don't ever forget that. to the sun. Well, I'm a Simon. Eh? I tell you, man. I'm a boss. 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 Mama, you should try. See, Mama, I'm going to tell you, eh, who be any kind of woman, people put this kind of hustle together. You should try. Over. But try it wasn't worry. just to me now. Come on, guys. It took the effort, collective effort of every one of us. So cheers. It's cheers. <sighs> cheers. Hey, more cheers. More cheers. <laughs> okay, so, um, Canon, no. you will share this money as agreed. Okay. Mama, you know I got your back. Left That's alone. Fine. This year, guy shouldn't get anything because he really didn't do anything. Why did you even involve him in the operation in the first place? Pardon me, ma. Um, you know, she... She's a new recruit in our team. And he has been a very good man into your stepson. Whatever. I was saying, you share the money accordingly, you keep my share of the money. When all this blows over, I send you an account number and you pay in my cash. Okay. I trust you.
Yes, sure. Now I got you covered. <laughs> I should run now, guys. Okay. Huh? Oh. Okay, so. Oh. You want to watch TV in the six room? I don't want to watch any bloody TV. I thought you said my dad paid the ransom already. Why am I still here? Oh, yes, uh, he did, but... Oh. The thing is, we are still waiting for the yoga. We'll be the mastermind for your kidnapping pressure. He has not given us go ahead. So, for the meantime, we are supposed to be treating you like royalty. Where you be. You understand? So don't worry. Stand up now before you expire. You don't dare here, tire. Let's go and watch TV now. Me say, bad day down there, I really wonder what TV is doing here. Come now. Come. You go now. You go. You go. Let's go now. Manik. <laughs> See, if you're watching TV, you will put on this fine on your face. What we are watching is the war thing. Hey, Mama. You didn't say anything about when we should release your stepson. Oh. See, about I, that, I'd rather I, you guys take me back home than to watch the television. I'd, oh, rather, yeah. I'd rather watch TV now. Mom! Um, mommy, I don't, I don't understand. Aren't you yet? I'm not. I'm sorry. No, you don't make it any sense. You see, since you've been gone, I've had no one competing with my husband's love and attention with me. And you know what? I think I like it that way. What? Mom, you're not making any sense. I'll be a good boy, Mom. I promise. I promise. I'm sorry, Kelvin. You see, Kelvin, you're the dead woman's son. And as long as you're alive, you're a threat to Andy's inheritance. Already it's obvious that your father loves you more than he loves Andy. So I think it is better you stay away. Besides, you know my secret now. So, please, please don't let them do kill me. not touch me. Please, I beg you, don't let them kill me. Please, just take me home. Please. Take care of the show. Mom, please, please. Please, please, no, please, please. Please, 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 please, please. I'll be back with my dad after I paid the ransom. Why did you lie? And now I'm going to get killed. Why? 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 Tell me why. I'm sorry. I, I had no idea. Uh, why? 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 Why is my mom? Why? I was always a good boy. <laughs> I, I love that picture with my, my real mom. Why? Why all this? Why? Why? <laughs> no. I'm going to be killed, no. Don't tell me that, no. Nothing is all right. Don't tell me anything. Calm down. I'm going to get killed. There will surely be a way out. No. No. I'm sorry. It's all right. Come on. You reason now, now, come on. The boy does not deserve to die. We've gotten the ransom. Let's just allow the boy to go. I, I thought that was the plan all along. Well, I thought so too. What can I say? Well, I guess the boy is just unlucky. Damn it! We, 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 we are kidnappers. We are not bloody killers. I'm sorry for not filling you in on your full job description. 
risky. We are meant to do whatsoever employs us, tells us to do. And right now, the mastermind wants the boy dead. The mastermind is just a demented stepmother that wants the boy out of her way so that she can get everything from the father. Come on. Don't tell me you don't mind aiding to such injustice. Injustice or not, it is none of your business. Look, Risky, we have been paid to do a job. And we do it. Don't get any thoughts in your head. That was your toast, get out. Please, please, don't kill me, please, don't kill me, please. Shh, be quiet. I am not here. We have to go now. Be faster. Going somewhere, my friend. I, 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 I am sorry, Canon. I have to do this. I can't have the death of an innocent boy on my conscience. And who the hell cares about the conscience of a betrayal? Certainly not God. <laughs> Come on, you know the rules, man. You know the rules. Betrayals must pay with their lives. <laughs> so it's not about you. Go and run! Snitch. Good afternoon, Mr. Thompson. Please cross the formality. Yeah, yeah. Do you do you have any news for us? You must have something to tell us. <sighs> Where are they holding my son? Has Omaru confessed? Uh, surely you must have something. Um, yes, I do have information for you, but it's not the kind that you expect. So what kind is it? We found Kelvin. <laughs> Good. What? Thank God. <laughs> so why why isn't he here with you? Uh, please take us where he is. I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson. Before we go there, there's something I need you to know. Yes. What is it? Come out with it. Kelvin is dead. Kelvin is what? <laughs> oh my God! He was found dead in the neighborhood. No! Oh my! No! 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 Wait, wait. Oh my no, God! No, 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 no. Oh my God! Please stop! Give me my son! Stop. To worry about. Going somewhere? Oh, yes, oh, yes, baby. I 
I want to go to the morgue. I think I'm finally ready to see Kelvin's corpse. Let me get my bag and go. Oh, no, you. no, baby, no, please, please. I need to do this alone, at least for the first time. Please. I hope you understand. I do. I'm so sorry. It's fine. Promise me you're going to be all right. Of course I will. I love you, Thompson. I love you too. And we're going to pull through this. Okay? Okay, baby. Thank you. Thank you. response to my call, Mr. Thompson, and for not coming along with your wife. <laughs> well, my not coming with my wife, the obvious fact that you categorically said I shouldn't. So, care to tell me why you made me lie to my wife that I was going to the mortuary to see Kevin's body, when the truth is that I was coming here? Listen, you had better make this thing worth my while. I called you out here to let you know that your son's case um, has taken a rather surprising turn. Surprising turn? Yes. How do you mean, Officer Steve? You see, we found a new witness who confessed to us that someone very close to you. Someone close to me? Yes. Who could this be? Please, tell me the witness. And why did he or she not speak up since? Why wait for Kevin to die please, before coming forward? Please, please, I beg you, sir. Please calm down. Because that's not all. Mr. Thompson, if you're up to it, I'd like you to join me for a ride. I have something, or should I say, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Someone? Yes. Who? Yes, Mr. Thompson. Behold our witness, Mr. Kelvin. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> oh, God. This is a miracle. I can't believe this. Yes. According to the doctors, some well-meaning Nigerians rescued and rushed him to the hospital after he was shot. The doctor also said that the bullet missed his vital organs. But because it was a close-range shooting, the bullet went right through his arm. Though he lost a lot of blood, but the good news is, your son will leave, Mr. Calvin. Really? Yes. Thank God. Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, Daddy loves you. Just, just come out of here. Once you come out of here, anything you want, Daddy will do for you. Anything. Thank God my son is alive. Thank God. I'm so happy. I underestimated Kelvin. So he won after all. What? That's all you're going to say, Nora? What else would you have me say, Thompson? You already know the truth. I did it. Yes, I told the kidnappers to set him free. Okay, that's a lie. I told them to kill him. I did. I told them to kill him because even if he didn't see me with them, he was going to die after all. God! Not at your sick! Am I? Dad, mom, what's going on here? Mrs. Nora Agola, you have a right to remain silent or else anything you say here can or will be used against you in the court of law. That's not true. Mom, you promised me. You told me you didn't have a hand in Kelvin's kidnap. I'm sorry. But why, Nora? Why? Please help me understand. Because even though you claim to love me, I could never be good enough. At least not as good as your late wife. Nor would I be a better mother to your precious little son. Andy is my first son. He deserves to get your inheritance. But that's never going to happen. You know why? Because Kelvin is still alive. Wow. Nora, did I really know you? No, I guess not. My God. Listen to me. Come on. Well, thank God that all your evil schemes have come to an end. I did this for you. Thank God all your evil schemes did not work. 
thank God Kevin did not die. Officer, take this demented woman away from here. I did this for you. You Sit hear down. me? You hear me? Ma I did Nora, this. No, I swear I will make you pay Time. for everything that you have done. Let's go. You're under arrest. No. Come on. Come on. Take her away. No. No. Oh, come here. Come here. Let her go. So let her go. It's okay, son. It's okay. Victims of circumstance hurt in different ways. It all feels like a trance. Hurts almost every day. A hurt filled with revenge for a crime that must be avenged. Oh. Twist of fate that complicates things, things, whoa, an action that Korean, a very beautiful thing from hate to love, from love to hate. 